Wild Love Well comics. Let's get straight into it. Draw a picture right now. All right, you done? That sucks, right? I spent two Dang. hours on the face, I couldn't get the hands right, and when I compared my art to this other artist I found online who's younger than me, it makes me want to curb stomp this monstrosity so no one ever has to look at it again. Okay, well, now think of a joke. Not one you've already heard before. I want you to think up a brand new, never been done before joke. Ah, uh, okay. Ugh. You know how cats are like lazy? Maybe we yeah. could do a joke about a lazy cat and his owner is like, ah, stop being so lazy. That sucked too. Oh my now gosh. Now doing <laughs> both of those things together. Poor and kitty. then putting that artwork up for the entire world to leave their unfiltered anonymous opinions. Facts. And on top of that, you also make virtually no money off of it. Who in their right mind would put themselves through that kind of torture? Well, dear viewer, I would like you all to meet Zachary. Zachary is a web comic artist. He makes web comics just so when you're scrolling through your timeline while taking your morning poo, you get a little chuckle to yourself. <laughs> and then you keep on scrolling, forgetting about his existence entirely in mere seconds. I have a soft spot for funny web comics. Not the super serious superhero ones or the Japanese ones. Wait, why is this part all pixely? Web comics can be shared on any platform. In fact, a lot of web comics get reposted without the artist's consent and with their names removed. Which is kind of weird that someone that went sucks. through the effort of removing a watermark when they could have just, you know, not done anything and left it. I Big facts, like it's always good to give the creator love. That's why I always put the original links in the description. And also what he said about like, content creation and, 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 and entirely like bro like we have to go through this thing where it's like you you make the content you, you you think it's funny you think it's good and you put it out to the world and then you get all this feedback and it's just be like bro like it'd be like good and bad but it just be like people don't know the hard work that you put into it man I, I definitely can understand i hope you all realize that behind every comic is an artist who just wanted to make you laugh Facts. and doodle something that day I started reading webcomics at a very young age. Back then, we just called them comics. They were really the only books that I liked to read. And the only place you could read the hottest new comics was in the newspaper. Oh, sorry, I should clarify. I remember those. A newspaper is a stack of gray paper that would be delivered to your house by a child riding a bike, <laughs> and they would print 19 pages of useless information and have one page dedicated to the funnies. <laughs> This is where the classics were born. You know the ones, the Calvin and Hobbes, the Garfields, the, the Far Sides. Classics. Some of these comics have made me laugh harder than any meme ever has. I just want to say that Calvin and Hobbes was an extremely creative comic. It was a comic about a rambunctious boy that had a giant predatory animal best friend. I mean, where else have you seen that before? By the way, <laughs> if you ever see those Calvin peeing bumper stickers, those are unlicensed knockoffs and really go against everything Calvin and his creator, Bill Watterson, stood for. Man. In fact, all Calvin and Hobbes merchandise is unlicensed because Bill Watterson never made merchandise. Wow. I mean, aren't these crochet Hobbes dolls the coolest? <laughs> So there was only enough space in the paper for about 20 comics. And last time I counted- Wait, so do they still put comics in, in the newspapers? I'm not sure, it's been a minute since I looked at one. There were way more than 20 comic creators. So if you wanted to get your silly little comic in the news, paper, you had some fierce competition. Mm. But now anyone with a computer and enough dedication can create comics that get shared by millions of people. You don't even need a fancy drawing tablet or expensive exactly. painting software or even art skills in general. Very Web true. comics and the internet and memes have been intertwined for decades. Many of your favorite meme formats are just edited webcomics. Now, in most cases, if someone took an artist's work, defaced it, and then re-uploaded it without credit, that'd be a bad thing. But memes are different, I guess. The reason I'm bringing this up is because I want you all to know that these artists have made other comics that are just as funny, and you should support their work and buy their books, and if you're going to make a webcomic Facts. edit, Please just keep in the watermark. It's it's literally more work to take it out. And you're being an exactly. Some of the original gangsters yeah. may remember that I also used to be a webcomic artist. I posted really? my first webcomic in 2012, which was over 10 years. 10 years? It's been that long? 
What the fuck? I'll be honest. Facts, time moving so fast, man. It's kind of insane. My web comics took a little while to get some traction. Let me explain something. All the comics I would read in the newspaper had distinguished characters with personalities. A lot of times, the punchline of a newspaper comic would only be funny because we knew the characters and their mannerisms. Mm -hmm. Garfield hates Mondays, so instead of him hating Friday the 13th, I miss Garfield. he hates Monday the 13th. That's a good one, Garfield. So I nice. try to make a webcomic like that with my own little universe. I'm gonna be a little vulnerable for a minute. Let's talk about my OCs I made when I was a 16 year old boy. There were three main brothers. Jake, who was a self insert character. One time I dressed up as him for Halloween. Justin, the book smart straight man. Straight man as in the character archetype, not the sexuality. Although if any of the brothers were gay, Justin would be the gay one. And Kevin, the laid-back older brother who did whatever he wanted because he's the oldest. That's messed Those up. Those three were the main boys. Jake, Justin, and Kevin. The three whitest names anyone's ever heard. <laughs> now, if you're an up-and-coming oh comedy webcomic artist, I would suggest to not to do what I did. If you're just trying to make someone laugh, you don't need a whole cast of characters that have intricate relationships. Just tell your joke and leave. Or don't. It's your art. You can do whatever you want. Thanks. Eventually, I wanted to rebrand myself. Instead of having distinguished, defined characters, I went with a very basic looking character design that had absolutely no distinguishing features at all. And I settled on a design that looked like this. I mean, over time, I refined it. I originally posted. Yeah, the artwork has definitely come a very long way. Not saying it look bad or nothing like that. It's just like it's so dope to see the evolution of his cartoons. It's, it's really dope. Shout out to him and his team. Posted my comics exclusively to Tumblr. It oh, was wow. just me and this other obscure web comic about trolls. We were the two main ones, really. Now, if you're still an up and coming web comic artist, then you should post your comics to every platform imaginable. Facts. I learned the importance of cross platform promotion the not so easy way. One day, I got a Tumblr message from someone asking if they could post my comics to a small unknown app called iFunny. And I said, Sure. <laughs> then that guy would periodically send me messages like, Dude, we are blowing up. Our comics keep getting featured. And I was like, Ow. Was he making money from it? Then I wake up to messages asking, Hey, are you the one posting these to iFunny? And I said, No, but I gave the other guy permission to. You know he's impersonating you and starting beef with other artists, right? Wow. Hmm? It turned out that iFunny was my most popular social media account, and I didn't even have access to it. I eventually got the account back, and now people tell me that they loved reading my comics on iFunny back in the day which wasn't even part of the plan originally. Web comics have really impacted me and this channel. So I think in general, whatever you do in life, if you make something and you put it on the internet, you need to put it on every social media site that is possible because you don't want nobody taking your work and acting like, just like this or, you know, just you never know what's gonna be the platform you take off on, you know? Some of my earliest online friends were other web comic artists who I don't keep in touch with as much as I should. My bad, guys, I'm sorry. My username is based off my webcomic, my character design was made for my webcomic, and even my cannonball profile picture is from a panel in my webcomic. I really hope this video makes you appreciate the webcomics that you see on your timeline. I know you see them, they're everywhere. Thanks. If you come across a comic you like, I want you to try and find the original artist's socials and browse their other comics they've created. I That's crazy he said that because I literally, like if I retweet something on a timeline, if I see a funny video, like I try to go find the original content creator, see if he posted and retweet his tweet. I never like repost like the 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 page that retweeted it. like i try to find our original content creator and retweet his tweet i guarantee you'll find some banger comics that just didn't get the same amount of attention as the other ones and who knows you might just make a difference in someone's art career you know making a whole video about web comics has made me miss my first love a lot of times when I think of a joke I have to wait two months to tell it and at that point I don't even know if it's funny anymore but a webcomic can have same-day joke delivery. So this is how I'm officially announcing that I'm making webcomics again. Let's go. I'll be posting them on my website and maybe Twitter if I'm still verified. 
There's already six brand new comics. Feel <laughs> free dead. to make any meme edits of them. I, I don't care. Also, be sure to check out this amazing reversible toasty plush. It's honestly my favorite thing. And up until April 10th, we're running Merch Madness, where you can possibly score a free VidCon ticket and meet up with me. Let's you don't go. even need to buy anything to enter, so check out the description for more information. I'm super excited to be making comics again. It's how I started out my internet journey. Coming I'm going to try and post now. at least one comic a week, so be on the lookout for those. Um, thank you all for watching and sticking through this end card. Y'all are the real one. Thanks. <laughs> thank you for watching, man. Make sure I smack the subscribe. If you want to see me watch older, the odd ones out, let me know in the comments which one I should check out, and we out.